women's rights is one of those issues that's 100 years in the making. One of the first documented words for women's rights was written by John Adams' wife, Abigail Adams, while he was working on the Declaration of Independence. In a letter to her husband, she wrote, Remember the ladies. In 1893, New Zealand became the first nation to let all adult women vote. Finland let women vote in 1906. Norway in 1913. And Denmark and Iceland in 1915. In the U.S. in 1920, the 19th Amendment was passed, allowing women the right to vote after about 90 years of protesting. The amendment stated that the right of the citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex. Congress shall have the power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. means that women should legally have the same rights that men have. It can mean lots of different things, but um, to me, I think it probably means most um, that women are expected to um, have the same opportunities and the same expectations um, as men and as, uh, to fulfill their own capacities and desires. The right for women to live the life that they create for themselves without any interference from society or laws that will keep them from having the same rights that men receive. Women should have the same rights and responsibilities that men have. The right to vote, the right to work, the right to have all the rights that men have. Every girl growing up should be able to have the same dreams as every boy growing up. In 1963, President John F. Kennedy signed the Equal Pay Act into law, making it illegal to pay women less based on their sex. But women are still not guaranteed all the rights they should have. They often work more than men, yet are paid less. Gender discrimination affects girls and women for their whole life. Women and girls most often are the ones that suffer poverty. Women earn less than men in all 20 industries and 25 occupation groups surveyed by the Census Bureau in 2007. Even in jobs where women work the job more than men, and those who pick male-dominated fields earn less than men too. Female truck drivers earn 76.5% of the weekly pay of the male truck drivers. Recently, there was a debate about whether or not the pay gap was fact or fiction. It's fact. U.S. women make 77 cents for every male dollar. This drops to 68 cents for African American women and 58 cents for Latinos. The first bill that Barack Obama signed into law targeted the U.S. pay gap. It's almost 50 years since it became illegal to pay women less based on their sex, so why do American women still earn less than men? Companies and employers believe, for one reason or another, either that women are not worth as much uh, in salary or that they can get away with paying women less because women are either less good at asking for money or uh, feel that they are, uh, are less able to command as much money as they deserve. Um, I think there's probably a component of that um, that comes from the fact that um, women are more willing to sacrifice um, some money for other pieces of lifestyle than, uh, than men tend to be and that the workplace, particularly in the United States, is not very tolerant of that and doesn't, um, doesn't find ways to reward people for what they're actually worth as opposed to what, they, uh, what the workplace can sort of get away with. You know, I don't know why women still earn less than men, but I think it's still really hard for many people to accept the fact um, that women are as smart as men or that they can do as good a job. As an adjunct professor for five years, Lisa Matt says she often saw on college campuses male professors being paid a lot more than their female colleagues. There's definitely a gap between men and women. There's a gap between who gets tenure and who doesn't. There's a gap between who gets promoted and who doesn't. The ten worst places in the world for women are Afghanistan, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Iraq, Nepal, Sudan, Guatemala, Mali, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, and Somalia's capital, Mogadishu. Women face rape and domestic violence often in those countries. Many of them end up dying. 
Girls' families risk having their child be kidnapped and raped by sending them to school. Millions of women have been displaced from their homes, and most of them do not earn enough money to put food on their tables. A majority of women cannot read or write, and more than half the women are married at 16 or younger. If girls are not married off, they are usually sold to traffickers before they become teenagers. In Mali, 1 in 10 women die from either pregnancy or childbirth. Afghanistan is the only country where the female suicide rate is higher than the male suicide rate. In Saudi Arabia, women aren't allowed to drive and must have a male guardian with them at all times. Freedom for abortion is directed mostly towards the less wealthy women in the world, even in countries where abortions are illegal. Richer women have always had enough money for private doctors to obtain abortions. Abortion is legal in Iceland, France, Canada, China, Italy, Russia, as well as many other countries. Under some conditions, it is available in England, Wales, Ireland, Scotland, Spain, Luxembourg, Poland, Portugal, Finland, and Cyprus. Countries where abortions are completely illegal are Chile, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Malta, Vatican City, and the Dominican Republic. Abortion is legal in the United States right now, but there is a debate about whether it should be or not. The two main sides of the debate are pro-choice, where they want to give women the choice, arguing that a woman has a right to decide whether or not to have a child, and pro-life, where they think the unborn child should be born, arguing that you can't deny a child the right to live. Discrimination against women happens all over the world all the time. Treating women differently on account of their sex can be traced back to ancient Greece, where the father of an unmarried woman would be her master or guardian, and once the woman got married, the husband would take the place of the father. Back then, a woman was not allowed to enter into a contract by herself, and all arrangements were made by her father or husband. Even though there are lots of laws against it, discrimination against women is still happening in our society. Um, I had a situation where one of the managers came to me, and I was working in the legal department, and he was talking to me about which women, or which people in his department, were going to receive the lowest rating, so meaning had done the worst job in his, in his group. And the person he chose was, um, was a woman, and, and the reason that having the lowest ranking in the group matters is because it is directly tied to what your raise is going to be for next year. So if you're in the highest group, you get this raise. If you're in the middle group, you get the smaller raise. And if you're in the lowest group, you get the smallest raise. Mm -hmm. And what he said was the reason that he chose her was because she left work earlier each day than the men in her department worked. And I said, well, what time does she leave? And he said, she's always gone by 6 p.m. And I said, well, what time do the men leave? And he said, they sometimes will stay until 9 or 10. And I said, well, why does she leave? And he said, well, she's a single mother and she has to go pick up her kids from childcare, so she can't stay. So then my next question was, well, yes, but tell me about her performance. Does she do an inferior job to the men? And he said, actually, no. He said that actually her job performance was just as high, if not higher, than all the men in the group. It's just that she didn't work as long. It's 2012. It's been 119 years since the first country let women vote and recognized them as equal to men. It's been almost 50 years since JFK passed the law, making it illegal to pay women less than men. Today, in many, many places in the world, women can't do basic things they should be allowed to do. Women's rights are still an issue, and there's still a long way to go. You know we don't want to take freedoms from you. Just want our rights and nothing less. We cry for freedom, oh, hear our voice and see we're equal to all men. We the whole people, not just male citizens, form this most perfect
fighting for our rights we may just start greatness for the ages freedom it is contagious march march be courageous fighting for our rights we may just start greatness for the ages remember the ladies not to be above but equal to all we only ask to be part of this union. Comme dirait le français, c'est democracy. Permettez-moi participer. I'm a citizen oh, of this nation. 